Hey everyone, and welcome to part two of our Sequoia Overland build. So today's goal, what we're gonna be doing, if you see behind me, I've already gotten my WeatherTech cargo map. We've got some boxes back there, and I've got my rear floor map. We'll see those a little bit more detail, but today's goal is to do the first run of all the equipment I have in my Tacoma and putting it in here. So water tank generator, um, my air compressor, it's not gonna be a finished unit yet. I'm still waiting for parts to come. And I, there's some things I haven't ordered yet because I kind of want to see how everything lines up before spending money. So as an update though, um, Corbea, the people who I am buying the seats from, they uh, gave me a call and the seats that I specifically wanted in the neoprene will not be in until mid-February, they told me. They had in stock cloth and vinyl if I didn't want to wait, um, but I chose to wait because it's something that I really want is the neoprene um, seat covers. Um, so that's going to be a little bit on hold. Today I'm expected delivery of the front carpet. Technically it's the whole carpet system but I'm only going to use the front part of it and cut some of that to make it fit how I want. Um, brakes I have no idea. I have to call and find out what's happening with those. And then um, a couple things like spark plugs, return the cabin air filter as this car does not have one and then installed a AEM dry reusable air cleaner filter. And then another thing that I discovered, so I actually had to order, and I'm gonna be replacing the wheels and tires because there's a lot of rubbing currently. So I currently now have, which came in, Goodyear Wrangler Dirt Tracks and 255 75 17, which also means I'm going down to a 17 inch wheel. So these wheels and tires will be up for sale come uh, next week as uh, my new wheels will come in and those will be on there because I'm having huge rubbing issues on the highway with the Sequoia and especially in the front taking a turn at freeway speeds 55 to 65 miles an hour on on ramps and there's rubbing happening causing the traction control to go off and just a bunch of issues so that's going to get settled with some new wheels and tires yes I could have lifted it but expenses I don't want to go too high anyways plus I've already got suspension on there so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and start taking everything off of there minus the uh, soft topper and putting it all in here so uh, let's see how that goes all right let's see wow. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. All right. Right now I'm test fitting everything before I cut out any panel holes in my floor mat, but roughly that's how I want it so the exhaust can go out. I'll come in through the back door to access everything. It's electric start. So literally you turn it on with choke. Makes it so convenient. On she goes. Just like that. And in case of emergency, I've got a pull start. So, yeah. Okay, so this is my current trial. We've got the air compressor on the left. We've got my awning in the middle, vacuum, which will always be removed before the uh, generator comes out. So, From this side, easier access instead of having to reach, a lot easier to just be right here. The water tank is gonna go right there, which right now we are draining and watering all of our plants because it still had like 40 gallons in there. Right now we've got about 20 gallons. If I can, yep. So the bed has been emptied out. Forgot about that guy. So it's kind of a puzzle right now. Um, definitely there's more weight on the right because of the generator, but with the water tank in there and then the pressure washer and then everything else, I'll make it work. But there's clearly a lot of space vertically, which I'm kind of thinking about reusing the braces that I had in the back of the truck. They're just a little short for the Sequoia. So we will see what happens there. Oh, 
All right, let's get the hose out from underneath. There we go. Put a piece of board on there? No. Just strap that in, and she's good. I actually really like that fitment, and my plan in this cubby hole is to get an electric um, scissor jack that I can plug into the cigarette lighter, and then I could unstrap one end, lift this end up, and get all the water out of the system because on the other end is where my valve is on off. So this guy will be going up there. I gotta fix this kink. That's for sure. So we're gonna let some heat adjust that sucker. All right, this is our dry fitment and I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, granted, this is just the stuff in the bed of the truck. I don't have any of the stuff from the cab in here yet, but let's talk about what I have. I've got my air hose reel, which is gonna be all the way over here. This is automatic reeling. So only thing I'm gonna do on this is adjust it up a little bit. We have my 50 foot hose reel for the pressure washer, the pressure washer itself. Everything is again plumbed right now so I could see how it would be. Um, we've got my hose, we've got my um, regular water pump there. We've got my switch and everything over there. We've got the air compressor, we've got the awning, we've got our vacuum cleaner, which in this area allows me to actually upgrade to a larger vacuum. Um, so that's gonna be something I look forward to. Let's switch over here. We've got our water tank. We have my bucket for uh, washing. Um, this does have a lid too, so I could put that on there. We have easy access to the generator. But again, as you can see right now, everything's pretty much waterproof. Um, I'm gonna be stopping the carpet just beyond there. So if any water gets in here, it will be trapped. If it goes underneath, it will go out those drain holes, which I have tested and you can see some slight wetness on the floor. So they do drain out nicely. Um, and it, this is again why I wanted the seats to be neoprene anticipating any water splash because this does allow some water to come out especially when it's at a full tank but the bottom level is pretty well on so now what I got to do is figure out how I'm going to strap specifically this guy um, I'm thinking about getting some eyelet bolts um, further down where the seats would go so that way I can get a nice strap all the way around this side's not an issue same thing on this area um, just cutting out where the straps are where the seats used to be and strapping everything down so I don't have again everything in there so the stuff on the roof um, is not in there the roof rack is sitting over there I may utilize the roof rack again but for now this is a good step one in getting all of my gear in here and then what I plan on doing is I've seen that you can get mole panels for these back windows and then I want to see if I can get either the forerunner tray that I've seen um, I forget the brand but you literally could have a shelf up here and that's where I would want to keep all my microfiber towels um, wash pads things like that all the stuff that I keep in the back of the cab can't think right now but uh all the stuff contained in one area nice and easy easy to access to with this up i can pretty much get to anything and then this is facing outwards to relieve any um exhaust fumes and i'll use it with the window open <coughs> excuse me so that's pretty good progress next up um oh for this guy what i'm actually re gonna reuse for mounting these is because I have to take this off anyways because we're turning the lease. I want to put the OEM ribbed panel back in and I'm going to use this aluminum sheet to mount the hose reels. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. You just uh, drill and tap. So it should be pretty easy peasy. All right, so we're going to put the open strap on this side and the ratchet over here on this side. I'm just gonna 
Ah, there we go. Leave it kind of hand tight, kind of loose. We're gonna do the other side to make sure I've got this lined up as centered as I want it for the straps. So let's do that. Okay, so let's see if I can find this thing. It's on this side. There we are. It is hooked. So you can see I did not use an eyelet this time. Pretty good with that. Let's go ratchet the other side. Okay, so this water tank now is not going to move, especially once there's water in it. And again, my idea with this is have a electrical scissor jack in there. So when I unstrap this one, I can lift up one end, empty box with old filter, and uh, that'll be good. So yeah, we still have got some additional straps there. So now we're going to go ahead and strap down air compressor generator which means the mat is going all this is going to come out now and i'm going to trim away at the mat where the tie down points are that i'm going to use so let's do that so you can see my little cutouts this one i did because i just didn't want that folded over but uh we've got little templates in here throughout where you could do the bigger cut if you wanted i just did what was needed to get the generator in and strapped this guy I'm going to leave up. I'm kind of debating on trimming that as well. I did a small cut here for the front of the generator. And then on the other side for the air compressor. Let's walk over there. I added, which you guys can see what I did under here, another loop. And... Uh, now to that and it is a little bit of an angle but that's okay um it's gonna get me a little bit more space that way anyways and it's nice and secure now it does rock a little but it's not going to be moving around that's the whole goal of that um the hoses and everything fit nicely right on around and through so that's ideal there i've got my little cubby for my dirty wheel brushes and engine brush so yeah now i get to start putting things in here and uh playing around with the wires but essentially that's what i'm done with today i'm gonna wait for the carpet to come in should be arriving sometime today huh anyways this might be for a late model sequoia because i noticed it's not perfect but it fits it works does what I want it to as you can see catches the water like I wanted it to and again if anything gets underneath it is bedlined and I've got the holes opened up I had a couple extra things I was trying but those didn't work but this is my final product I'm gonna throw everything back in and uh, we're gonna sign off on that one we're gonna keep this video relatively short compared to the first one and the next time you see me hopefully Something else exciting will be getting done. Otherwise, it's just kind of maintenance stuff. I'm going to throw in these spark plugs. You guys don't need to see that. Um, yeah. See you later.